Okay, hello everybody, Miyukin here, and we are back with more Timber and Stone, and in the last episode, we got started up a bit here, um, got our guys doing things, <laughs> farmers are farming, builders are not building, wood choppers are chopping, and I'm actually gonna turn down the music, just a tad. Um, I am rendering, just so you know, so, it might be a little... FPS droppy at times, so in this episode we are gonna start building, get our builders building. Um what I wanna do, check our design so we see where our road's going. So I wanna get our builder or builder. Axe chopper guy. Wow. That's the game saving. <laughs> okay, so we're actually getting to our first night time here. I actually need you to chop down this. I'll tell him to remove them. Alright, so we're gonna need to remove this. This. Uh. Yeah, just gonna need to remove some trees. We're gonna need to remove the bush. Well, don't need to remove that. Maybe we don't need to. I'd like to keep them. That's one thing I hope they add one day. Um. The ability to plant trees and bushes. Or get seeds for them or something. Oh, this guy. You need to dig. Dig, brother. Okay, so you're gonna dig that out. Come on, do it. There you go. Sometimes they're just a little slow. <clears throat> Alright. Hey, maybe we'll get a guy to join us soon. Be nice. As you can see, the road's kind of starting to take shape here with the dirt. Or the grass just turning into dirt. And you want to be pretty careful when planning your road. It is the uh, most important thing, really. Kind of almost lays out your little place. Uh, all right. So we just gotta wait for this little guy here. So I'm just gonna speed it up while he's chopping, and maybe do some other stuff. Like just make sure everyone's got the stuff going on. Oh, and since it's nighttime, I'm gonna get the campfire lit up. There we go. So if it ever goes out, you can just add uh, two logs to it, and you will have light. Alright, so I'll see you guys when this guy's finished with his job. Really, Patrick? Come on, man. I need you to do this. Oh, god dang it. Oh, we also need to remove these stumps. Alright, alright, come on. We're gonna just have to push them a little further. Sleep when you're exhausted, guy. Right, now get up and do it. <laughs> There he goes. So I'm needing to remove these stumps. Whoops. Um, and waking people up will reduce their morale. So they're not very happy about that, but morale means nothing right now. So whatever, just do whatever with them. Of course, I will let them sleep when the task is done. Cause we got a civilization we need to build, man. No time waste. Right. We'll also see these little fruit trees. You actually can't get any, like, apples from them or something. Which is kind of odd, but, oh well. It still looks nice. That's one thing I love about this game, the voxel graphics. I love voxel graphics. They always look so... It just looks good. It's clean. Uh, you don't have to put a lot of detail into them. Of course, when you do, it looks really good. Um... And, yeah, I just like it. You can put a lot of detail into people. Like this little guy. What's your name again? Patrick. I'll get their names eventually. Alright. And people will come at night. I don't think merchants, or traders, really, do, but I know migrants will. Pa 
iPad wouldn't do that to me. Alright, come on. Wait, is he done? Yes, alright, so we can start getting our place built. Gerald the Builder is done. Oh, but we need the carpenter to wake up. Gerald. Or Gerald Valent. Wait, aren't they both named Gerald? Gerald the Builder and Gerald Valentine. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'll call you GV. I think he's close to waking up. He's gonna wake when rested. Not when rested. Alright, now he's waking. Okay, so he's got the hunting knife, and we need him to make wood planks. So. You can make wood planks with logs, and I'll make 20, so then we can get 40 wood planks, because it's times 2, and then while he's making that, you can check uh, the queue for what's being made, and yeah, we just gotta wait for him, so we'll get this guy to build. Wait, Patrick, are you, uh, yeah, he's got the next best thing. So our road's clear, which is good. Eventually I might fence it in, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't matter, like... Uh, if your road's protected or anything. But, yeah, I've had some funny stuff happen though, with roads. <laughs> like, uh, merchants traveling on them. Maybe we'll get a repeat of it. But, you guys will see what I mean. Is he chopping this down? Is he gonna chop this down? <clears throat> Dropping trees, that's okay. Alright, now we can get building. We'll go to design, build, uh, wood planks. I don't know why it does this into two different ones. It's kind of odd. It looks different from the icon, but. Hmm. Same with the wood planks, too. I don't know. We still have the same amount, though. So, we're gonna build this one block away from the hall. And one block from the road. Actually, maybe two blocks from the hall. Three, because I am gonna have roads. So, three blocks from the road and the hall, and then... And if you kind of want to lay out the building before anything, um... So I can tell Gerald to halt the glove little thing there. So then I can build wood planks, and he just won't build it right now. I'm not going to have that be the house, so, three blocks out. Alright, one, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, so that's going to be the corner of it. Uh, I think I actually want to make that out of log. Where's our log at? There we go. One, two, three, four high, I think. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, but actually, for now, I just want it to be one high, so he doesn't screw up or anything when building. Because building can be tricky. Uh, sometimes your builder might get stuck, which is really annoying. Okay. Wait, did I just do it with... Oh, God dang it. Log. There we go. Okay. Now, wood planks. Where are you at? Okay, we want them... How wide, I guess? Just, uh... Three. So then we can have a little window spot. Then we're gonna have our door. So, we can actually get a door now. Solid wood door. It's eight logs. That's a lot. That right there. I think that takes up like three spots or something. And the carpenter builds that, not the builder. Yeah, three spot spots. Blah. Oh, uh, one thing I want to show you guys. Actually, never mind. Never mind. You guys will see what I'm talking about soon. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go three out here with the wood planks, and then there's gonna be wood log there. And then how wide do we want this? We want, I think I want it to be... Seven wide, yeah. And it's gonna go 
just like that. There's the log. And then, there we go. Boom. And we'll get the logs uh, here. Oh, whoops. What did I do there? That out of there. Make sure this is still the same length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I really make it nine? Oh. I don't know if I want it to be. Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, he's level four carpenter. Yeah, those are alerts. Uh, they don't disappear until you right click them. Get a log there. Make sure I am using logs. No, not dig slash mine. Log there, and a log there. Oh, dang it. No! Ah, no, that, I do not want to do that. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> okay, now we can get this guy to build. So you now have permission. Oh, equip the best hammer. And now he should start going, right? There you go. All right, Gerald. We're probably gonna need some more. Uh... Patrick, he's gonna sleep when he's exhausted. Cause we need him on constant wood duty. Yeah. Okay. So now this guy is gonna start building here. Uh, I think as he level ups, he gets faster. I don't know if it's a fixed time. And I don't think they can fail when building. I haven't seen it happen. But I might be wrong. So we're also going to have to move the carpenter bench here to <clears throat> the, uh, what do you call it? To the carpenter house. Um, and just to let you know, you don't have to actually build houses for people. I'm just doing this because, kind of for aesthetics, really. Hey, wait, why did you build a log there? Or a wood plank? Gerald. What you doing, man? Okay. Oh, farmer's asleep, but he's got the crops grown, which is good. Alright, um, put a log there. Let's get our builder, our digger. He's asleep. He can destroy any block. Kind of wish builders could destroy uh blocks sometimes, but oh well. Nothing can do about it. So now we kind of just wait for night to pass and everyone to be up and active again uh, doesn't look like I don't think we'll get anybody to visit our town in the first day or two it can vary sometimes it, 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 it all depends on chance um, how many wood planks do we have 13 yeah it's gonna be kinda tough getting building material up and going the first uh, few days but eventually we will have something nice going on and more people in our city oh and be aware fire does burn wood in this game so don't want to build it too close to the campfire I haven't had anything burn on me yet but I do believe that it could happen and I don't know if wood stacks or if that's just like going nowhere I hope it does so now we may as well use the rest of these wood planks uh, just finish off these one two three one two three four five so I'm gonna finish those off yeah okay we are low on hammers and axes is our carpenter awake? he is let's make some more stuff make us a few axes dude like five. As you can see, stone like gets up really quickly. You probably won't have a problem with that at all. I really only think you need just one miner in the game and you're good. For a while at least. Until you start doing some really, really big building. But we can also build more uh lighting if we want, because it is kinda dark here, so if I want to build another campfire I can can get the carpenter to do that it's only a few wood logs or I can build a lamp post which is better but it is more expensive it's infinite though it never goes out you can tell it to go out or you can tell it to go back on um, 
but we'll get all the materials we need for it eventually, like an iron ingot and animal fat, <clears throat> which is a reason why you want your forager. Where is our forager? Come here, uh, whatever your name is. Bruce. Oh, and you can cycle between your guys by hitting the bracket keys. So, we're gonna give him a hunting knife. We're gonna tell him to hunt all the animals. Don't worry, animals do respawn. Um, apparently, there's something like... If you just target one animal, it might not ever spawn again. I don't know. So I always have my hunter target all the animals. Um, one thing I do want to get, though, while my hunter's killing all these animals, is... Shears. You want iron shears for animal... For animal, uh, animal hair, which can be used to make like cloth and I think rope and things. <clears throat> and you get that from boars. I don't think you can get it from anything else. But while he's sleeping with his little hunting knife, we will wait. So yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. Now it's just a waiting game for him to cut down logs, and I think he's done. He's probably sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, so now we just have to wait. <clears throat> but, uh... Okay. We're looking good here for civilization. Our food's okay, you know. It's not great because we only have this small little farm going on, but it's better than nothing. Uh, let's actually check our resources. See if he's gotten... Mm, wheat, cotton, flax fiber, nothing. Yeah, looking good, looking very good. Everyone is sleepy time now. And eventually Gerald is gonna kind of see a little use. But, yeah. Carpenter. Uh, we should make a few more hammers too. We won't see as much need for uh, tools eventually because people will get higher level in their profession and they won't break tools as often, which will be really nice. And the only benefit to getting better tools, so you see like copper, iron, bronze, steel, the only benefit is it just has less of a chance of breaking. I don't think it actually works faster, so I don't think there's really any point to doing this unless you're like absolutely rich. <laughs> I mean, really. <clears throat> But yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode off here, guys. We got a good bit done. We're going to finish this house in the next episode. Hopefully, stuff like this early building takes really a long time to get the resources and stuff. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode.